Hey there Titans, in this video you will see our exciting new feature Titan push notifications. We have a couple of ways to set up the notifications from the Titan side and this video will cover the Smart V option. Alright, so let's start with the Smart V, so I'll head over to my elements and I'll add the Smart V onto the screen. And let's configure it, so let's say I want to authenticate a contact. I'm not going to set any conditions, let's just add some fields, we'll add contact ID email and let's add a password so the smart v this is a custom field in salesforce so we're going to say secret value email and this is where the fun part is enable push notification so i'm going to click here to select a field and basically what this will do is take the push notification authorization from your client and push it onto your salesforce and this is where we'll determine on which field on Salesforce we will be saving that push notification authorization code um, so we can later invoke it from Salesforce and show you user uh, notification. All right, so let's, uh, let's find our custom field. So I've set up a custom field here, PN Oath, and this field has to be a long text area with at least 1500 characters. And we'll hit apply. Let's set a little session on the smart V. We'll add five minutes and we'll save the form. Let me show you my contact object. And we can see we have this uh, custom field here, PNO, currently um, empty. And let's go ahead and publish our site and see how it does. All right, so I'm gonna head over to publish and click view. And let's put in my email address, so cdo at formtitan.com. I'll log in and waiting for the uh, code from Titan to come from Smart V. And it's in here, I'm just gonna grab it, click continue. And we can see that the form Titan is asking us to allow notifications since we've set up the push notification on the Smart V. So I'm gonna click allow. And now let's head to our contact object and we'll see what happens. So I'm gonna refresh the contact and head over to the details and I can see our push notification authorization in here. Now I can use this to invoke notifications on my on, for that user. All right, so let's see uh, how this does. I've set up a simple process builder here to invoke it. In later videos, we'll show you how to configure that on the Salesforce side. And let's just go ahead and show you the example. So in my instance, I have a process builder that if the uh, rating of the account changes, it, we will send a push notification to the primary contact, which is um, Chief Donkey, and we'll send a rating, we'll say, hey, account this and this, um, status rating is now whatever we change it to. So let's see how this does. So I'm gonna edit my, uh, my account and say, right now the rating is, is, hot, is cold, let's set it to hot, and I'll hit save and I'm getting a push notification from Titan saying, hello, Chief Donkey, this is the contact name, um, edge C, account name, rating is now hot. And this is completely customizable. You can add your, uh, your uh, image here, your icon image. And like I've said before, in next videos, we'll show you how to configure that on the Salesforce side. And this is how it's done. 